I'm Lauren from Pack Hacker, and in this video, we're taking a detailed look at the Travel Pro Max Lite 5 21 inch carry on, which I've been testing for the last two weeks. If you found this video helpful, hit subscribe so we can keep making content to help you travel smarter. Let's dive in. From an aesthetic standpoint, this looks like a standard piece of carry-on luggage. This is actually one that a lot of flight attendants use, um, so it is a pretty well-known brand, pretty well-known style, and that is for a good reason. Um, this is a, I had a pretty solid time using this one. So on the outside here, in terms of the material, it's a soft shell so that it is a little bit more flexible. You have some room to um, pack this out a little bit more. And this is a polyester fabric across the board and with a DuraGuard coating. So that gives you a little bit of weatherproofness. I took this on a trip to Denver and to Boston, had kind of gnarly weather in both places and everything just sort of rolled off of it. So that's really great to see. There are a few loose threads around the, like mostly the front here. There's one right here. You can see that one's pretty long. And then there are two, let me see, bring that up a little bit closer to down at the bottom there. Then they're even like a little bit hard to see. Honestly, I don't really feel like it's impacting the durability of the suitcase here. They just seem like something you can just snip right off. Um, and in general, it feels like it has a pretty solid build around. So I'm not too super worried about those. We do have unbranded zippers as well, which usually we like to see a name brand like YKK or something like that. Um, but these move pretty smooth, didn't have any issues with them like coming undone or anything like that. So no complaints so far. And then the main compartment actually is a lockable zipper. So you can add your own lock for a little bit of added security if you want as well. We also have carry handles. We have one on the side that's pretty beefy and then one on the top that is equally beefy, maybe even a little bit more, but it does have a little bit of added space. So your fingers can go through pretty nice, uh, pretty nicely, which gives you a little bit of added grip. Like when I put this in the overhead bin, I was able to kind of lay it this way. And then when I wanted to take it out, I could grab it from both that side and that top carry handle. And then if you want even more support, there is actually a handle down at the bottom here too. It's just big enough for you to slide your fingers into it. And so you can like, if you have it in front of you, you just wanna move this really quickly, you pick it up, move it from one side to the other. So that's pretty great. In terms of wheels, we have four. This is pretty standard. Um, they're like 360. They spin really, really nice and easy. Um, and we'll talk about that in a second, but um, no issues with those, like feeling like they were gonna break or anything like that. And it felt pretty smooth. And then we have the top um, actual like telescoping handle here that goes nice and easy in there. Um, and this actually as well has a nice like rubber grip handle. This one's pretty comfortable. And so we tested um, about 15 of these roller luggage, um, uh, 15 different items of roller luggage. And this one was kind of a fan favorite on the team here. It just feels really super ergonomic, has a little button on the top so you can adjust the um, height of it as well. The handle itself is super easy to engage. You just press the button right on the top and lift it up to your desired height. So this is the first height option that you have. This is hip height with me. I'm five foot six. I found this one to be the most comfortable just because it is about at my hip, but there is a second adjustment height available as well if you are a little bit taller or just prefer to have your hand up a little bit higher. Totally up to you, but it's nice to have the two different adjustment options. This is a little bit wiggly, but it feels super lightweight and it still feels sturdy. So even though the handle does move around a little bit, I'm not really worried about it breaking or anything like that. It still feels really comfortable. So if I have this down at the height that I like, it has a nice ergonomic handle, like I mentioned, just really nice and comfortable to hold onto. So that's really great. And then with the four wheel option, it moves around nice and smooth. I could barely even like hear myself moving through the airport, which was really cool. I just kept it on the four wheels for the most part because it felt the most comfortable. But if you wanted to roll it on the two wheels that's really nice and easy to do as well across the board in terms of storage for this piece of luggage it is a 46 liter so you do have a decent amount of space to work with here um, and it does fit most carry-on restrictions as well so um, definitely great if that's how you prefer to travel so there are a few different options for external um, compartments here to keep your gear in. And so we're gonna start off with this front slip pocket. This one is really good for, just put it up here. You can see that the, the um, zipper pull stays kind of like tucked out of the way, which is really nice. So it doesn't like impact the aesthetics uh, when the bag is actually up like this. 
but if you were to open this pocket, you can see that there's a decent amount of space in there, but it, does, it doesn't come out super far. Um, pretty much this amount of space that you're seeing here with that zipper is as much space as you have to put your gear inside. So I'm gonna flip it back down here. Right in here, I have my phone and I have my wallet and I have my headphones. So if I stick my hand in here, the pocket ends right here. So it doesn't go all the way down to the bottom, which I don't mind because then I felt like everything would get lost down there. But this is definitely gonna be a spot where you wanna put like quick grab items um, if you don't already have them in your um, like carry on or personal item, I mean. And so that's a really great spot for that. We also have a zippered pocket here on the front. And this is where I mostly put like an additional layer. So here I have a little jacket and then um, have some gloves as well. So this was like if I, you know, was gonna be, I didn't have room in my personal item and I was gonna be getting on the plane and I wanted to, I needed like a heavier jacket or something like that. I was just kind of stick it in here. You can see there's a, a decent amount of space here. So it is elevated, um, got a little piece of the tag there. Um, but you have a good amount of space. This does go all the way down to the bottom here. So uh, if you don't use this, it's not necessarily wasted space. Um, I actually did put my laptop in here as well while I was traveling uh, because I didn't have space for it in my personal item um, and I didn't need access to it on the plane. So, you know, you do have a little bit of wiggle room depending on your storage preferences uh, but I found it most handy to have like a bulkier layer or something like that in that compartment and then it also saved me some space in the main compartment as well so zipping that back up those are the two options that you have for external storage um, between all of this you have enough space for about a four to six day trip um, and I found that to be pretty true. I took two separate trips. I had like, I think it was a, I think it was actually a five day trip and then a four day trip. Uh, and I had enough space for everything that I needed on the inside of that main compartment there. Uh, plus a little bit of room to spare. And then on the back here, I just wanna show you really quick. This is a spot for like a little luggage tag or something if you um, wanted to put personal information in there. So that's great, nice and hidden on the back. You know, you don't even see it, honestly. Um, easy to forget it's there. It doesn't impact how it lays flat or anything like that. Um, but we can get into the main compartment to show you how that packs out as well. Going into the main compartment here, it is fairly simple. So uh, some pieces of luggage you'll see will open from the center if it's like a hard case or something like that. With this being soft sided, it's nice. It just opens right from the top. So we have the dual zipper up here. You can leave, leave them either, I'm actually gonna move this really quick. You can leave them either at the top here or at the bottom, it's kind of up to you. Um, I preferred to leave them over here because there is the expansion zipper on this side. And so then I wasn't getting confused with where the zipper pulls were and what I was actually opening or shutting. Um, but if you wanted to keep these a little bit more out of the way, you could put them at the bottom. So definitely a preference type thing. But this opens nice and easy. Gonna do this like this. And then so you have full access to this main compartment area. So looking at this side here, we have a sort of like mesh pocket with a dual zipper. And this is mainly what I just used for like dirty laundry. So like underwear or socks or things like that. As I use them, I just put them in here. Um, otherwise I didn't use this a ton. It lays completely flat if you don't end up using it. If you do pack out these two front compartments a little bit more, it can start to butt into the space. So that's something to keep in mind as well. Um, but if you don't end up using this, it's not in the way or anything like that. You do, you can see you have a couple of inches there of actual like space to pack things out. So that's pretty cool. And um, that's, you know, nice and simple on that side there. In this main compartment, we do have two little tie down straps. So you can see that this one here happens to fall directly over my toiletry bag. Whereas on this side here, it falls between two packing cubes. So what this ended up doing for me was if things weren't packed out perfectly and aligned perfectly within this compartment, one of these tie down straps would be super useful and the other one wouldn't be, or maybe both of them were or both of them weren't. So you kind of have to configure these a specific way. Like if I were to turn it this way, it obviously works um, a lot better at actually holding things down versus just slipping between these two. So just uh, kind of comes down to how you pack this out. But if you don't want to use these at all, it's really easy to just like, let's say I'm going to take these packing cubes out. I've got three here, two kind of smaller, two a little bit, one a little bit bigger. You can just buckle this up, cinch it all the way down and then leave it 
out of your way. So that essentially just lays down on the bottom and you can, if you like using cubes and things and you're not worried about stuff flying all over the place, you can just do it that way. So definitely have a lot of room in here to kind of customize your organization as needed. Um, if you are somebody who likes to be told how to organize things, um, there are you know luggage options that do give you a little bit more direction and where to put things. But this is definitely one that just gives you more open space. So looking at here, we have a toiletry bag and then a pair of shoes. So if you're gonna carry an additional pair, um, or you know if you were to take those out, then you do have a lot of additional space to work with here. There is this expansion, which gives you two inches of extra space here. Um, it is on the bottom half and, or I guess, yeah, bottom half here. Um, and this goes unzips all the way around. And this is so that it keeps the center of gravity, gravity a little bit lower on the piece of luggage so that when you are rolling through the airport, it doesn't get like top heavy or anything like that. Um, it kind of forces you to bottom load a lot of your gear, which is great if, um, it's great so that things aren't falling over, um, but you do kind of have to think about where you're gonna be putting things because you're gonna to wanna to put a lot of taller items or really start to bulk things up as you're packing. You just have to sort of think about where you're gonna be loading your gear. Um, so not that big of a deal, just something to keep in mind when you're actually doing your packing. And then we have, oh, I have a packable bag there too. And then we have a side zipper pocket. Here is where I put things that I wasn't going to need super often, like a baseball hat or something. Um, or if you don't need your like warmer layers, uh, like a hat or gloves, you can put those in here too if you need them. Um, because you're not going to be getting to that super, super often or very easily when you're on the go. And then in here is where I also put my keys. Um, I did need access to those when I got home, um, but when I was on my trip, I just wanted them to be in a designated spot where I didn't have to think about it. Um, might have been nice to see like a key leash or something in here so that I could keep them a little bit more in check. Um, but overall, really great spot for gear that you don't need access to super often. So there you have it, the Travel Pro Max Flight 5 21-inch carry-on. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smart travel, and we'll see you in the next one.